Watch this. One of the three new high-value crops being promoted by government is Haas Avocado. Its demand worldwide is very high, and Uganda is one of the countries that can comfortably grow the crop. The NAD Secretariat is the lead agency in the promotion of the Haas Avocado. Government through NADS pays 70% of the seedlings for qualifying farmers, and 30% will be contributed by the farmer. NADS works with large nucleus farmers who support clusters of outgrowers around them. Today we are going to look into the agronomical practices of Haas Avocado, and more specifically how to transplant the seedling into the garden. We spoke to Omodin Gerald, an agronomist. First, he explains digging the hole for planting and soil handling. First, you dig your hole of two by two feet. Next, two feet, and you also the with it two feet. Then you consider the soils. You separate the top soils from the lower soils. You put the, 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 top, the, the top black soil aside, then you put also the red, the lower soil which is red aside. Because when you're covering your hole, you are going only to use the top black soils to cover the planting hole. It's good to add manure, but it needs to be handled well. After you've covered half of it, you get the organic manure. It can be, can be good cow dung or good scrubbing. But for this case, we are going to use the cow dung. So you get one full basin of cow dung or one full bucket of cow dung. You mix with the, the soil. Then you make sure you have mixed it thoroughly with the top soil. Make sure to put a stick in the middle of the planting hole as you prepare it to reserve space where the plant will sit. The plant must sit in the middle of the hole. You don't you want to, to make sure that when the, the plant is starting to grow, the seeds can, I mean the roots can easily penetrate and they, they don't find the boundary which has a hard pan. So they can grow easily. The chance of survival of a seedling to a plant will partly depend on your selection of the seedlings. Fine when you plant a seedling which has a with leaves so which has fresh leaves, the seed may tend to droop and eventually it can die easily. So you get the one which is well hardened, even if the grafting union is healed, like you can see. It's important to leave the soil attached to the roots as you separate the polythene bag from the seedling. That soil provides the foundation for the development of the plant's root system. So when you're planting, just you cover like around one inch or two inches from the from the pot from the potting soil. Then you cover. The reason being when you overcover it up to maybe in the grafting union, it's going to be an area for the entry of for infections. Water retention and preservation, particularly during the dry season, is critical. Digging a basin around the plant will help water retention around the plant. Some people say when you don't have a source of water, you cannot start as avocado growing, which is wrong. When you know you, are, you, are, you, are, you want to grow your avocado and you want to pass through a dry season, it's possible, number one, Make sure you retain the, the moisture in the soil. How? Uh, make sure you have dug a basin around the plant. Then after you have dug a basin around the plant, like you have seen, this small basin-like thing will help retain moisture. When you apply a mulch, you can apply dry grass, you can apply cow dung, as a mulch, you can apply chicken dropping as a mulch. Those ones, they will help to, to minimize the rate of transpiration. 
or the rate of evaporation from the soil water to the atmosphere. So after you have dug this basin, you can get a half a basin. As when a plant is still young like this, you get a half a basin, you spread around the plant. Then you make sure that the cow dung or that grass doesn't get into contact with the stem of the plant. Thank you.